You must have already heard about Kim Petraz, the world's first trans singer who won the Grammy Award for the best pop duo along with Sam Smith, but we bet you didn't know she was the youngest transsexual in the world. Stay tuned to the end of this video to know more about her. The rising German star singer and songwriter Kim Petraz was born in Los Angeles on August 27th, 1992. She was born in the city of Cologne. Her older sister was also a singer, her father is an architect, and her mother is a choreographer and artist. She was given the gender of boy at birth, but according to her parents, Petraz realised she was a girl when she was just two years old. When Petraz was 13 years old in 2006, she made an appearance on a German news programme where she talked about her medical gender transformation. In an effort to secure approval for early sex reassignment surgery aged 16, before the legal age of 18 in Germany, Petraz made an appearance in a documentary on a talk show at the age of 14. These appearances led to extensive international media coverage of her transition, referring to her as the youngest transsexual in the world. She served as a model in September 2007 for a network of hair salons in Germany. Petraz, who is now 16 years old, underwent gender confirmation surgery after receiving confirmation from Frankfurt Hospital's head of the mental section, Dr. Bernd Mayenberg. Petraz stated in November 2008 that the procedure went successfully. Only a little is known about her personal life, but let us see how she started her successful singing journey. As a teenager, Petraz started recording music, and in 2011, she released her debut extended play, One Piece of Tape but she was already into music before her first release. The singles Fade Away, Last Forever, Die For You and Boomerang were all released by Petraz under Joyce Records between 2008 and 2009. She was featured on Taste by Sober Truth in 2009 and Magnetic in 2011. 2013 saw Petraz feature on two singles by German DJ Klaas, Fly To Paris and Heartbeat. Petraz began working on a music career with producers like The Stereotypes, C.G. Abrahams, Stephen Dresser, Johan Jones Wetterberg, Edward Ellis and Aaron Joseph over the following few years. She posted demos on a SoundCloud site, one of which was named STFU. In July 2013, Petraz's contributions to social media earned her a spot at number 19 on the Billboard's Artist Chart for Emerging Artists. Petraz made an appearance on Isaac Fazer's song You off his album Triple Zero One in 2015. In 2017, she self-published her first worldwide single. In the music video for Kim Petras's 2017 song I Don't Want It At All, she appeared alongside Paris Hilton as a pair of fiery blondes. The song was also followed by the Billboard charting single Kim Petras Heart To Break, in which Junio Marcelino played the role of the prince and she played a princess. After experiencing initial success, Petraz put out a selection of digital singles that would ultimately come to make up her unofficial body of work known as Era One. On June the 28th, 2019, Petraz released her debut album Clarity. Petraz released one single with a visual music video every week for nine weeks leading up to the release of the album as part of a promotional effort. Upon the release of her debut album Clarity, many critics complimented the album but attacked her association with Dr. Luke, who was charged with verbally and sexually assaulting American singer-songwriter Kesha in 2015. Her EP Slut Pop, which was again produced by Dr. Luke, was released in 2022, reigniting the same issue. Once the EP was released, hashtag Free Kesha became a trending topic on Twitter and Petraz received more criticism for her lyrics in the EP that alluded to Lady Gaga, a supporter of Kesha and a fellow survivor of sexual assault. After that, Petraz released Turn Off The Light, her second studio album in 2019, with her song Malibu and its summary music video, which stars celebrities like Demi Lovato, Charlie XCX, the McCulka Twins, Nikita Dragon, Paris Hilton and many more. Petraz enjoyed even more popularity in 2020, with the song Villain, which reached the top 10 in New Zealand and on the US global song list, Petraz collaborated with Madison Beer to appear on K slash EP DA's All Out which was released on November 6th, 2020. Petraz contributed to various remixes of songs that were successful on TikTok in 2021, including Studio Killers Jenny and Ellie Otto and Curtis Waters' Sugar Crash. Also, her 2017 collaboration with Charlie XCX and Jay Park on Lock It became a hit on the platform. 
Petraz also stated that Turn Down the Light Volume 3 will be issued at some point in 2021, but this plan never took place. The lead song from Petraz's planned major label debut studio album Tomorrow Starts Now was released in August 2021 after she signed with Republic Records. Being the first transgender artist to sing at the VMAs, Petraz sang the song at the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards pre-show on September 12, 2021. The 2021 MTV Europe Music Awards, which MTV purposely held in Budapest as an opportunity to stand in solidarity in position to the Hungarian anti-LGBT law saw her perform, making history as the first out trans artist to perform at the EMAs. In a similar manner, Petraza's performance was purposely risque and sex positive and included a statement to the effect of, it's going to be pretty powerful to be in Hungary and perform the show when these laws have just passed. As the first out trans artist, Petraz also took to the stage for the 2021 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. She also appeared in the holiday movie The Bitch Who Stole Christmas in 2021. Petraz published Coconuts a month ahead of schedule on December 3rd, 2021 in response to an overwhelmingly positive TikTok fan response. Petraz revealed a surprise EP called Slut Pop on February 10th, 2022 after previewing some of the tracks on TikTok. The EP was released the next day. On the 11th of June 2022, she performed at Los Angeles Pride with Christina Aguilera. Petraz appeared to confirm via Twitter that the album Problematic had been dropped on July the 30th, 2022. Several songs allegedly included on the album leaked online on August the 2nd, 2022. Sam Smith and Petraz collaborated on the song Unholy, which was released on September the 22nd, 2022. After the song was released, it quickly became popular on TikTok and peaked at number one in a number of nations including Australia, the UK and New Zealand. Also, it was her debut on the American Billboard Hot 100 where it finally reached number one in October 2022. Smith became the first openly non-binary person to achieve that feat, while Petraz became the first openly transgender woman in history to have a number one song on the chart. Petraz and Smith received the Grammy Award for the Best Pop Duo slash group performance for Unholy on February the 6th, 2023. Smith became the first non-binary artist to receive a Grammy and Petraz became the first openly transgender artist to do so. Petraz thanked her mother during the award speech, saying that she had believed me that I was a female and I wouldn't be here without her support. She also gave thanks to the late Sophie and Madonna. Petraz is a pop singer who also creates dance pop, electro pop, bubblegum pop and EDM. She attributes her primary inspiration for her sound to both the 1980s Italo disco and the late 1990s and early 2000s pop culture. Petraz identifies as a Kylie Minogue stan initially, noting Minogue as a significant influence on her pop sound. Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Cher, Rihanna, Beyonce, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera and Madonna are some of Petraz's other musical influences. Petraz said in an interview that pop music is an escape for me from my worries. To forget about everything upsetting me, I can put on my headphones and listen to them for three and a half minutes. For me, it has always been that way. In many respects, I believe that pop saved my life. Petraz said to Noisy about her songwriting, there's something about making a song that everyone can sing and remember, and when you listen to it for the first time, you instantly know the words by the second chorus like you've always known the song. I can't get enough of that concept. I write about boys, heartbreak, sex, having fun and things that I go through, she said in reference to topics. Petraz was dubbed the new princess of pop after her debut by Nasty Galaxy. A number of outlets including Billboard, ABC News, V and Ida Later reprinted the title. With that, we have reached the end of this video. What do you think about this? Do you like her songs? Let us know your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, then make sure to give us a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click on the links you see on the screen. We'll come back again with more exciting videos. And until then, goodbye.